become irresistible. Yes, this little video today, I'm going to talk about that and what irresistibility really is. How can we become irresistible? And if we're trying to become irresistible, whom are we wanting to be irresistible to? <laughs> Send me a comment, write in the comments, what do you think? Whom are we trying to become irresistible to or for? Irresistibility is a, is a beautiful state of being in my mind and I, or in the way that I perceive it, and it's very different or it is the kind of a, a reframe to self-love because a lot of people at the moment are speaking about self-love and it's like oh yeah I need to love myself more oh yeah I need to learn about self-love and there's this thing around self-love where we need to fix ourselves and we need to the, the language around it is like it's, you're broken and you need some bit more self-love and if you have more self-love then it will work the truth of self-love is that self-love is always there you cannot not love yourself. You are in this body. The only reason why you think you don't love yourself is because you haven't realized that you are irresistible to life. That life is always giving you exactly what your whole frame, what your whole body is emanating, what your whole mental space is emanating. It's always giving you exactly from that space. So it's always mirroring to you whatever is happening inside of you. It's it, you are irresistible already. The reason why some of the things in your life that might not, you know, be so beautiful for you, um, and you think you're not res you're you're resistible, and people resist you, or you're not lovable, is just because you haven't realized that at the deepest core you are love. Once you realize that, we step into a completely different realm, and you become irresistible to life. You become irresistible to the universe and the universe doesn't want nothing more but to wow you. Wow you constantly, throw you the best goodies, throw you everything that really is inside of you. When you stand, just imagine yourself standing in the knowing that you are irresistible. Just imagine how that would feel. Just go into that for a moment. It's like if I knew that I am irresistible for life, that life cannot but give to me. What would that change in your resonance? How would you show up for life? How would you let yourself be penetrated by life just because you know that you're irresistible, that life is flowing through you so constantly that you're constantly full and that you can give from that place, that you're taking care of yourself in the way that you're filling your cup when you, need, when you feel it's empty. So how can we become, how can we get to that space of re recognizing that we are irresistible, that we're full of life and that, that life is ready to be given from our place, from our heart, from our space. The first thing is you have to take care of your body. You have to take care, you have to make you priority. Can you prioritize yourself? Because when you prioritize yourself in the most natural and in the most deepest way, the universe has nothing more to see than, oh, this person is really loving herself, is really giving to herself. She really honors her own, her own needs and whatever she needs. So we're going to give some more to that. Prioritizing yourself doesn't mean, though, to just be concerned about your own things now and never to really think about others. It is, it is, I am filling my own cup and when I have filled my own cup, I can spill over and then you give abundantly. You are in service to others abundantly just because it's natural to you, not because you have to, not because society tells you that you're a good person if you give and help out your neighbor. neighbor. No, you give because you are irresistible. You know that you have so much energy to give. You can't but not give it. You know that there's so much more to come to your life and you stand in that knowledge that you are filled from the inside by the universe that you don't even need sleep. I mean, we do sometimes, but if you trust the universe that much to fill you up constantly, if you open your channels to the divine and realize that you're standing in energy constantly, that you're standing in, in a vortex of endless amounts of beauty, 
and you're allowing yourself to receive it, which is the end of that part that most of us don't know. A lot of us have trained ourselves to not receive. We give out of obligation most of the time and we receive reluctantly. So if you're giving out that to the world, if you're, that's your frequency where you're saying, ah, oh, I, I can't really receive or oh, thank you, but uh, I don't really, yes, receive, learn to receive. And that starts with going out in nature and being able to receive the beauty that is all around us. Being able to be, to be literally touched by the beauty of a flower so deeply that you're receiving her energy, that you're receiving the life force that flows through that magical being, through a stone, through a crystal, whatever you find outside the trees. If you can allow yourself to be penetrated by life, not from other people, you don't need to receive energy from people don't become an energy vampire receive it from where it is offered so generously every single day every breath can be your inspiration every breath can be that oh i know i am irresistible i know that life comes to me can you feel the difference of oh i need more self-love to i am irresistible and life nurtures me with every single breath I take, with every single moment I use to draw in life. When I'm aware, when I'm consciously taking in that which surrounds me, I am consciously recognizing myself as love. I'm consciously recognizing myself as this abundance, as this irresistibility. There's nobody that can resist that and will resist that. And yes, of course, there will, people, there will be people who might not like you, but that's okay. As long as you stand in the knowing that you're irresistible, that life will give you exactly what you need, then you can be like this. Thank you. Thank you to every single thing that crosses your path. Every single person becomes your teacher. Every single per um, thing that happens on your life, every single circumstance becomes a gift. And when you stand so deeply in being blessed by life and the gift that it offers you every single day, just because you can open your heart to every opportunity, mm, then you walk around as an irresistible being. So one other step that, we, that is also needed in that part, in that, in that journey to really standing in your own irresistibility is to be able to take care of your mental space. Are you able to observe your mental stories? Are you able to, for one day, I challenge you, just for one day, go into your day and live it as if, from, from the premise of this sentence, just because you have a thought doesn't mean it's true. Could you go into your day and question every single thought that you're having and its validity? Because I would say 99% of the thoughts that we're having are not true. And I'm not speaking about the thoughts that are like, oh, I need to plan my day and tomorrow I need to do this blah, 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 and I need to go shopping. No, I mean, of course, you know, that these are thoughts that help us to navigate our daily life. But I'm meaning the thoughts that happen when something triggers you or somebody just, you don't really like them and all of these thoughts that are starting to happen. Can you stop? listening to these thoughts or can you stop looking at them as truth and just look at them as a message as a message for you to like mm, question question your mental space all the time because the thoughts that are going on in there are mostly debilitating for most of us we're having a constant loop of thoughts and feelings and and states of being that are created through this loop of feeling thought feeling thought feeling thought that are creating that what, what they are creating our state of being which is often diminished when you tell yourself that you're not enough that you're not good enough that you're not worthy that you're not lovable when these thoughts are permeating your being then of course you won't walk around in a resonance of irresistibility it, it's impossible you won't feel like i'm irresistible but if you play with it and i dare you to play with it just walk around for a day watching your mental space and every time that 
a thought comes in that's like, oh, I'm not, I, I can't do that. It's like, no, I am irresistible. I am, you are already, if you understand that, then you, it's easy to change. You are already irresistible. Life gives you exactly what's in your resonance. It cannot give you anything else. So in the sense, like, you are magnetizing irresistibly, constantly to you what is inside. Everybody is a reflection. Everything is a reflection. So take care of your mental space because it creates loops with your emotional body. It creates states of being that are not necessarily helping to lift you up. But when you watch your mental space and when you watch and take care of your body, are you drinking water? Look, this is my vase. Somebody called it a vase the other day. This is full up to here. I already drank a little bit. What I drink every morning, it's a liter of lemon water. It helps me to plug myself in. It helps me to hydrate my body. It helps my skin to feel good. It's a simple thing. It's not difficult to put a bit of water in a jug, a big jug, and drink it every single morning. But most of us don't do it. Most of us know about health and the the things that we can support our physical body with, but we're not doing it. Why? Why are we not doing it? Because we have stories in our minds and we have emotions in our bodies that want to prove themselves true to you again and again and again. That story of imperfection, that story of unworthiness is looking for proof. <laughs> it wants you to prove it to it. It wants to itself to prove itself to you. Mm -hmm. yes this is what's happening so when you go against that it's a little difficult in the beginning but then you start drinking water mm -hmm. you start taking care of your body you start taking care of your mental space and gratitude starts to arise and gratitude is one of those amazing quick ways to be irresistible when you are in gratitude to everything, and I don't mean just the beautiful things, when you can be in gratitude for the shit that happens, and you can say, oh, thank you, ouch, wow, thank you for showing me that. When you can overflow with gratitude for life's lessons every single moment. Mm, man, you become irresistible, because then, Life is just like, oh wow, she's happy, no matter what. Let's give her all the goodness because your resonance, gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. The resonance of gratitude is such a high frequency in your body that when you stand in gratitude, and I know you've experienced this, we all have experienced places where, moments where you just like filled with gratitude and you, like when I feel gratitude, I am completely connected to the universe. My whole body stands on end, my hairs, everything is just like, so when I, when I cultivate that feeling inside of myself, I am in, in pure awe. There's so much joy pouring through me and life continuously gives to me from that place. The moment I contract, the moment I go into fear-based thinking, of course, I get proof of that. <laughs> it is really simple. It's relational physics. It's, it's quantum physics, whatever you want to call it. It just works like that. It's, it's vibrational. So I want to tell you a little story because I finish off today, before I finish off today. Um, imagine your body, your mental face, capacity, everything inside of you is a garden. And you have in that garden beautiful flowers, a lake, trees, magic, everything is there. And also you have somebody going around in that garden, it's a little bully. Mm -hmm. And that bully goes around and looks, tries to see which areas you don't take care of on a daily basis. And when he sees where you don't take care of, he goes at night or at any point when you're not actually looking, when your awareness isn't there, and trashes the place. So trashes those areas. Maybe he goes to the lake, pees in the lake. Maybe he goes to the trees, cuts the trees. Maybe he cuts the flowers when you're not looking. So... Then the question is, this bully is actually, in a way, your friend. This bully is your pain 
This bully is your pain body. This bully goes around your garden. And then when you see, I was like, oh, somebody, oh, what happened to the flowers? Oh, I need to take care of the flowers. So you start taking care of the flowers. Oh, and all of a sudden you go to the lake and it smells weird. It's like, oh, somebody peed in the lake. I need to take care of the lake. So you take care of the flowers in the lake. And then you see the tree being cut open. It's like, oh, I need to take care of my trees. So you take care of the trees and you start to take care more and more and more of all the little corners and all the spaces inside of you and of your garden. And that is the journey of self-love. This is the journey of becoming irresistible because you know that you are worth so much that it is worth that it's worth it for you to take care of all of you. And when there's pain, you remember that it's just a little gift from the universe showing you where you need to pay attention. Which areas haven't you looked at? Which areas haven't you infused with so much love that there is nobody who can come and bully and cut into your tree? Because you are perfect. You are beautiful. You are absolutely wonderful at the core of your being. You are love. You are freedom. You are it all. You are a miracle. The reason why you don't feel like that is because some, because you have put so many other things, thoughts, for feelings, states of being in the way for you to recognize that. So becoming irresistible is, a, is, is in some way work and in some way it is not. In some way it is just actually dropping all the stuff that you've built up against it because you are already irresistible. <laughs> ah. So I'm feeling really in a beautiful space with myself um, and I'm, I'm practicing this irresistible like this feeling of I am irresistible there's nobody that I need any attention for from that I just know I am irresistible me and God we have our own connection God and me we are irresistible for each other because God lives through me and I live God inside of me It's a beautiful space to enter. And even if it's not present for you right now, and even if it feels really far out, it is the simple act of dropping all that cuts into your being as a perfect, miraculous, wonderful creation of God. Can you drop? Can we drop those thoughts? Can we feel the feelings? and then let them move through us. There's nothing to push away. Mm. Then life simply wants to gratefully rush through you more and more and more and more. And if you have trouble with self-love and you feel like it never really goes to the root, all these self-care practices, and yes, I know I need to love myself more, I really invite you to join our Go Touch Yourself program because it goes to the root, to the very deep root of how to love yourself. And from there on, you can start to love yourself too. You can start to live and walk and embody standing in the beauty of who you are. It's a radical training that goes to the way you love you on the most fleshy level it is how you make love to yourself. How to how do you masturbate? How do you create? How do do you make love to this body? Is it in awe? Is it in beauty? Is it like overflowing with like oh my god I can do this? Oh I'm so beautiful. Or are you just simply making it a quick fix? Because that's what the universe is going to give to you. Do you want a quick fix from the universe for your little problems and your little things that you can't take care of? Or do you want it to shower you with abundance of beauty and amazingness? Because if you want the latter, you kind of start reflecting it inside of you. It cannot, the universe will not give you anything that you don't have inside of you. So when you start treating yourself like a goddess, like a god, like whatever you want to call yourself, when you treat yourself as irresistible, then all the good things cannot but rush into your life but you got to do the work first you got to do the dropping first the work I don't even like to call it work because in reality it's not work 
it's a simple exhale it's a oh all of that is not me recognition oh I am so much more than that the journey to that is sometimes a bit longer it requires a lot of awareness it requires you to sit with your thoughts and recognize that's not me it requires you to nourish your body and to stop those habitual destructive um, actions that keep you in loops of stress and fear and having to and over giving to other people when you haven't given to yourself yes that is there but it will naturally fall when you start to be irresistible when you start to embody the energetic difference of I am here and I need more self-love to I am here and I am irresistible it is an integrated I have the self-love I am loving myself ah so beautiful to speak this today and to remind myself as well that this is the state of being that is constantly available to all of us most people spend 80% of their life 90% of their life in a state of being that is really dense and contracted and then we have these little peak moments where we're like oh, life is so beautiful mm, I love it and I'm here to tell you and to remind you and myself because this is also a big practice and I but I live it every single day and I have over the years over the last decade I have expanded my state of being in this more peaceful more joyful more blissful state of being to it is 90% of my life I hang out in gratitude because I've trained my nervous system to remind itself that there's always something to be grateful for there's always something to be penetrated by life is constantly offering itself to you just look outside your window look at the sky look at something that is beautiful and receive it train your nervous system to be able to receive life then life will keep rushing to you in the most joyous ways because you are already irresistible I love you so much have a beautiful irresistible day in your irresistibility and keep smiling keep being grateful mm.